Korea, a land of captivating history and vibrant culture, boasts a rich architectural heritage. Among its many treasures, the grand palaces of the Joseon dynasty stand as enduring symbols of Korea's past. These palaces, with their intricate designs and majestic presence, offer a glimpse into a bygone era. They whisper tales of emperors and queens, of courtly life and royal ceremonies. In this journey through time, we'll explore two of Korea's most iconic palaces, Gyeongbokgung and Changdeokgung. These palaces are not just structures of wood and stone, they are embodiments of Korean values, reflecting a deep respect for nature, a love for harmony, and a connection to ancestral traditions. As we delve into the history and architecture of these magnificent structures, we'll uncover the stories they hold and the cultural significance they embody. Join me as we step back in time to experience the grandeur of Korea's royal past. From the imposing gates to the serene gardens, every detail in these palaces speaks volumes about the artistry and craftsmanship of the Yoseon era. Let's begin our exploration with Gyeongbokgung, the largest and arguably the most stunning of Seoul's five grand palaces. Gyeongbokgung Palace, also known as the Palace of Shining Happiness, is a testament to Korea's enduring spirit. Built in 1395 by King Taejo, the founder of the Joseon dynasty, it served as the royal household and the heart of the nation for centuries. The palace grounds were a microcosm of the kingdom, housing government offices, royal residences, and serene gardens. Tragically, Gyeongbokgung's splendor was marred by conflict. During the Imjin War, from 1592 to 1598, the palace was razed to the ground by invading Japanese forces. It lay in ruins for over two centuries, a poignant reminder of the devastation of war. The palace we see today is largely a result of a meticulous reconstruction project undertaken in the 19th century during the reign of Regent Hwungseon. Gyeongbokgung Palace is a masterpiece of Korean architecture, harmoniously blending artistry and functionality. The palace's layout follows the principles of Besa Nimsu, reflecting the ancient Korean belief that a site should be backed by mountains and fronted by water for good fortune. The palace buildings, with their gracefully curved roofs and ornate decorations, exemplify the distinctive style of the Joseon dynasty. Brightly colored Danchong patterns, intricate wooden brackets, and majestic roof lines create a sense of grandeur and elegance. The palace's design reflects a deep respect for balance and harmony, principles deeply ingrained in Korean culture. Gyeongbokgung Palace has been witness to countless historical events, its walls echoing with stories of royalty, ambition, and intrigue. It was within these walls that King Sejong the Great, revered for his creation of the Korean alphabet, Hangul, ruled and innovated. The palace also saw periods of turmoil, including the assassination of Empress Myeongsong by Japanese agents in 1895, an event that shook the nation. Today, as visitors stroll through the palace grounds, they can almost hear the whispers of history. The grandeur of the throne room, the serenity of the Hyangwonjong Garden and the stories behind each building offer a captivating glimpse into Korea's royal past. These tales, passed down through generations, bring the palace to life, transforming it from a historical monument to a vibrant tapestry of human experience.